students so the next lesson is from your geography geography first lesson in part 1 india position and extent where is india loca located in the globe that we are learning so here is a rough sketch of the globe or the world we all know that the earth is divided into two equal almost two equal halves by a equator the same latitude so india lies to the northeast north south east and west india lies in the northeast position so in south asia we all know asia is of the continent and india lies in the south lower part of the asia india lies in 8 degree 4 to 37 degree in the north and 68 to 97 degree in the east This is about the latitude and this is the longitude. Latitudes are the vertical lines. If this is your globe, this is your latitude and this will be the longitude. So around this point, the India lies. And India's southern pole is not Kanyakumari, don't get confused. India's southern point is Indira point. That is in, if you look at this map, here is your rough sketch of your Andaman Nicobar Island. The end, when they ask you in the exam, make sure that you draw some dots over to the bay of, in the bay of paper. That should be a bit lower than the point India's outline. So they have to mark it as in the point and the, in the north, the tip we have Jammu and Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir to Indira point. Jammu Kashmir we call it as Indira call. They might ask you in your reason Indira call or Indira point they never, or they might also ask you as south, southernmost point and the tip is the north tip point, northern tip point. Apart from this, this is a very small lesson and very easy lesson. We have studied all in your high school. We have uh, one latitude called Tropic of Cancer. This Tropic of Cancer passes through India and divides India into almost equal parts. So, Tropic of Cancer is a latitude and its number is 23 and a half degree north. And it passes through India and divides the India into two equal halves. Tropic of Cancer, 20, 23 and a half degree north. Tropic of Cancer, 23 and a half degree north. And other longitude that is passing in India is Central Meridian, which passes to the Ahmedabad of your the north. This Central Meridian is the name for our Indian uh, time. That is, Indian standard time is calculated based on this Central Meridian longitude that is 82 and a half degree to the east longitude. Latitude. So, this two are the longitude and latitude that are passing through the India. And overall extent, the boundary east to west, we have. 2,933 km and north to south we have 3,214 km and the total area of the India the total area of India is 32,87,263 km squares which is almost which covers 2.4% of the world's land it covers 2.4% of the world's land only it occupies only 2.4% in the world. And we have Fred Tears. What are these Fred Tears?
sound place or it's like a protection wall kind of thing so what what are the, there are two types of rentals are there land and water the the boundary of the land is of 15200 km and we have natural frontiers also not only the land we don't have only the land frontiers but also we have a natural frontiers that is your himalaya himalaya is projecting from the from india from I mean, projecting india from china and also blows the winds that blow from china and bring the rainfall to the northern india so this are about the land frontier next is about the water 6100 km with our island the boundary and with island the 7516.57516.5 km and we have seven neighboring countries which are those seven we will see now pakistan this is to the north west this remember to whenever you draw a map or anything draw this three north south east and west so it is easy to remember in an exam that is pakistan and afghanistan lies between north west of india and china nepal to the north east and this is about the east side of india bangladesh myanmar sri lanka in the south and this is all the neighboring countries which are to the india neighboring countries to the india and india is the seventh largest country in the world the first is russia so india stands seventh position in the size wise and india and sri lanka is connected by a strait called pak strait so this strait we will be all if you are read the ramayana you will be knowing that the ramayana told to sri lanka with the help of hanuman by laying the bridge that bridge is nothing but the pak strait and we have 28 states and nine union territories including the delhi delhi comes under the union territory and the largest state in the india is rajasthan and the smallest is the goa this is about your first lesson it is very small lesson you have to remember the numbers very well the total area that is 32 lakhs and 87263 km square then you have to remember the neighboring countries and the frontiers we have two frontiers land and water and there's a natural frontier such as uh, himalaya and water frontiers such as your bay of bengal and bengal sea even they are acting as a protection no one can enter the sea very easily you can have a high on the uh, extremes or the person who enter or the enemies so even these three seas in arabian sea bay of bengal and indian ocean are acting as a frontier and we have twenty eight states nine union territories largest is rajasthan smallest is goa and newly formed state is telangana so we have to practice with the map and remember the longitude and latitude that is tropic of cancer and the central meridian and you can expect some of the question from your neighboring countries explain or mention the neighboring countries so this completes your first lesson india position and extent